If you're watching my videos, then you know that one of my passion is probate. I love probate and I love the whole arena of estate planning. In this video though, I want to talk about the administration of an estate when there's no will. If you are the administrator of a estate, then you have already gone to the probate court, you have determined the heirs of the estate, the court has given you permission to administrate the estate. The next thing you need to do is to request your letters of administration. So you're going to request your letter of administration and you're going to provide the oath to the court where you're saying, I'm going to administrate this estate according to the determination that the court has agreed to. The court says, these are the heirs and I'm going to make sure that I settle the affairs of the estate. And if there's anything left, I'm going to divide the balance according to how the court has determined under the determination of heirship. So you have the oath, you get your letters of administration, then you want to collect the assets. You collect the assets because you also need to do an inventory to the court where you're telling the court what's in the estate. And that's when you're gonna realize if there's any money in the estate or not, because what comes along with that is the creditors. You're gonna to have to file your notice to creditors so everybody will know, oh, John Smith has died. Sarah is it now the administrator. Bring all the claims and the creditors will come out to the woodworks from behind the pantry, underneath the sink, and they'll be bringing their claims. You're going to have to look at the claims, make sure that the information proving them is valid. You're gonna to have to pay those creditors according to the liquidity of that estate. You don't have to pull money out of your own pocket. It's not your debt. You pull, you get the money, the liquid assets from the estate and you satisfy those creditors. The next thing you will need to do, you will have to settle the estate. If there are taxes to be paid, if there are taxes to be filed, then you wanna get those things handled. You gotta do the notices to the beneficiary and then you have to do the affidavit to the court that you have notified the beneficiary. And then you want to distribute the estate to the extent that there's anything left. If you have to do deeds to beneficiaries, then you do that at that time. If you have to distribute money or distribute stock, that's when you do those things. After you have settled the estate, not before. So don't let any hungry beneficiary come to you and say, I must get my money now. You have to be disciplined and you have to make sure you settle the estate before you distribute assets because you have sworn to the court in your oath that you do just that. My name is Megan Troig, and if you need help with your administration, remember we're with the Law Office of Brian Fagan and we would love to help you because here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we treat you like family. Thinking about it, when it comes to trust administration, we'll probably treat you even better. Thank you. Hello, thank you for watching our video. And because you made it to the end of that video, we're offering you our new estate planning handbook. This is a wonderful tool and I'm sure you like it. Go ahead, download the link and let's get learning together.